Hello and welcome to Mini Model World. Today I'm super excited to be putting the finishing touches onto the bathroom uh, in this doll's house that I've been renovating for months now. But we're finally getting around to putting everything in place so my children can start playing with it. So before I start putting the furniture in, I just want to talk you through what I've used for the flooring and the walls. There is a link to a blog post below where I go into more detail about the flooring and the paint that I've used and wallpaper throughout this doll's house. But as a quick recap, the flooring in here is actually drawer liner from B&M, which uh, cost about 2 99 I think it was, for a huge roll. So I just cut that to size and because it's non-slip, it didn't need gluing in place. So if I feel the need to change the flooring at a later date, I can. Um, on the walls we've got Painter's Touch in light grey and that's just a little tester pot from Homebase. Uh, again there's a link below to where you can buy all these from uh, and the prices as well. So on to the bathroom furniture. I've struggled for a long time to find anything modern. Uh, I've generally got a lot of furniture for the doll's house from antique shops, uh, charity shops or second hand but I couldn't find anything in an up-to-date style. So I looked online and spent just under £30 at Pretty Little Minis, which is a gorgeous shop that sells so many lovely modern pieces of dollhouse furniture. Um, so again, I've linked below, so do check that out. And I bought the package of bathroom furniture. So there's a bath, there's no taps on it, so I might make some taps at a later date. There's this super cute little sink with drawers underneath that work and tiny little taps on top. A toilet which my children thought was hilarious because it opens up and they couldn't understand why there was no water in it. Um, but a toilet with a little itty bitty flush on top and also included was this mirror. And this tiny plant as well which is actually just a bead. Uh, with an artificial leaves inside it. So that's what came with the set from Pretty Little Minis. The other things I'm going to add to the bathroom I've salvaged or made myself. So to begin with we've got this rattan mat which is actually a coaster from Dunelm. We've got a little tissue box which is a bead with just a piece of paper pushed in it. A chair that was a set of four that I got from an antique shop. Two little towels that I've just cut from a bath towel. A little piece of wall art. The wood was from a previous project I did for a miniature library and it's like a wall plaque and then I just borrowed one of my son's stamps and stamped an anchor on it. And finally, something that I'm super proud of is a teeny weeny toilet roll holder. I am going to do a video for how I made this, but it's basically three beads, a piece of paper clip and a piece of, I think it's cocktail stick with a hole drilled in the middle and then white paper wrapped around what is the toilet roll. So that's everything I'm going to put in the bathroom. So it's now time to finish it off. So the bathroom's at the top of the house next to what is going to be the children's bedroom, which I need to finish off as well. So you can see the flooring in place and also uh, the paint which I've just used to trim uh, the wall on this side and paint the whole wall on the other side. But on to the fun part of installing the bathroom, if only it was this easy in real life. So we've got the bath at the back and then I wanted to put the tiny sink and drawers on this side just so the mirror could go in the middle. We'll add the tiny toilet to this side. The mat can go in front of the bath. I'm just going to add the chair there just as a place to put spare towels. The tiny plant is going to go on top of the toilet. And the little tissue box which is just a bead with paper in. And then this is the little piece of wall art. So I'm just going to use a tiny piece of sticky back plastic on this. So on the back of the mirror there's these four little pieces of padding so I'm just going to add a little bit of sticky back plastic to each of these. 
There we go. So the mirror's in place. The final thing to add is my little toilet roll holder. So I don't think sticky back plastic will hold this up. So I'm just adding a little bit of wood glue to it. And the very last thing I'm going to add is a little towel just on the side of the bath. So there you go. This is the first room that I've fully finished in this dollhouse and I think it's looking pretty good. Um, if you want to see more of the rooms being finished and what furniture and decor I've chose, then don't forget to subscribe to this channel and give this video a like as well.